So I was like, what? What? He's a kid. So the he more take care of the more I watched it, the more I started to see what he was talking about. And I was like, mm. He really talked around. I don't know. I think like her and the producer or the doctor or something talked to him. And next thing I know, he's talking about he had a job. And I said, like, what? Right, right. I'm like, yo. He really, uh. But you know what? I think that girls like them type of guys. You know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. he was the most goofiest out of everybody, you know? Hmm. And it was just like, you know, she was like, I guess that was like easy for her to, to mold or something like that. And hmm. like, that's kind of what I've seen. Next thing I know, do that job and everything. Uh, you know? So, well, here's my opinion on it. He was like 2016 with his, mom, his grandma and stuff. So I was like, wow. Yes. Did you guys see? And I hope you guys watched this episode. But, you know, if you didn't, go back after this and watch this episode. But, yeah, he was living with his whole grandma. Oh, wow. What's going on YouTube? It's Nickelodeon and I am doing a review of Married at First Sight Season 8. This is the new season. I'm excited about it. We got two African American couples and I got my hubby with me, Kay. Yeah. We've been married for a minute now so we like to shed our opinion on what's going on with these newlyweds and what we think and who we think is going to last and... What do we think about some issues that they may might be tackling? So we got. Oh, AJ. We got AJ and Stephanie. So we just gonna get into what's going on with them. So what do, what do you think about AJ and Stephanie? They was a fun couple, you know. They was uh, I thought they was the best couple on the show. It was uh, they did pretty good. It was just like one rough spot they had and. Like you know his uh you know his little mood disorders like you know and his and what's her name Stephanie and she's pretty cool you know like she's pretty down to earth you know it's like they make a good match definitely I I feel like uh, Stephanie and AJ definitely was going smooth sailing it seemed like Stephanie was really in it for the long haul and seemed like she was really trying and it seemed like they both do care for each other um. But when it came down to them packing their things and they were getting ready to move into their new home, it seemed like they was touching some troubled some troubled waters. Right. You know, um, I believe AJ was kind of having some kind of mood swings. Uh, Steph Stephanie had, um, I think she had cleaned off a desk or she had repaired something that belonged to him. And he kind of... I guess didn't want her to touch his stuff, so he kind of had a little bit of a attitude about it, and I think Stephanie kind of took it well. She kind of shook it off, and she was kind of like, okay, so I see he's not in the best mood right now, and, you know, she was hopeful for things, you know, getting better later on, so she didn't kind of dwell on that situation, you know. So it seemed like she was kind of good at... Um, dodging arguments and things like that so you know i think that that's definitely one thing that you need in a relationship is is knowing how to pick your battles and, and not you know sit there and dwell on every little thing now we got luke and kate so what do you think about them babe? Kate. so uh luke here yeah oh man luke oh man let me tell you about luke <laughs> Luke, was, Luke was geeking on him, man. <laughs> like, like she's a, a nice girl, man. He, what did he say? So he, he said he was dead or something like that. Like Luke said that he was dead inside because you know, he wasn't attracted to her. So their whole thing was about attraction. Like he wasn't attracted to her. Yes. You know. So how many of you out there believe that you have to be? attracted to your partner like all the way completely for things to work out me not so much because i'm like 
you know, you got to have the whole package. Not only do you want to be attracted to that person, but you also want to, like, get along with them. You want to, them to have this personality that you find charming, you know. And just, I think, based on a person's uh, personality can totally change how you feel about them. How you feel about them is more important than what they look like. You know, like, for example... Um, Stephanie and AJ. My, in my opinion, I feel like AJ ain't on like attractive. That's just my opinion. I, I don't feel like AJ is all that. He just, I don't know. It's just weird. But Stephanie's so. digging him. And I'm sitting here like, well, I think Stephanie's digging him because, you know, he's got a great personality. You know, he, he knows how to laugh with her. He knows how to treat her. And, you know, they, they communicate awesome. So, you know... I think that it all. I think that I, uh, Luke and Kate just need to communicate and just need to learn each other, and eventually he will see that Kate is super awesome. Cause I mean, I, I think Kate is a pretty girl, and I'm looking at him like he is tripping to think that he's gonna go out here and just find America's next top model. Cause he ain't next top model. So anyway. You know, he could have got his girlfriend, could have been beat, you know what I mean? He could have just came, you know, came to the show and it would have been a whole, <laughs> a whole another show after that, so. Right, right. Uh, he lucky to have her for us, so. Right. So, let's get into the next couple. Oh, Will, Will and Jasmine, right? Right. Oh, yeah. So, Will and Jasmine's the other African-American oh. couple, and I like both of them. Yeah, well, it's cool, man. I mean, it's just he, he's so he's so much trying to be a gentleman that he don't want he don't want to knock it down, you know. <laughs> like the whole show, like the whole episode, she, she want him, you know, she want to get physical. You feel me? She want to get down to him, man. Yes. And he like, nah, nah, just just take your time, take it slow. Yes, I Jasmine mean, I feel is. Feel that, but you know what I mean. Jasmine is purring up to Will like a like a kitty cat, so she definitely wants some affection and some flirtation from Will and he's just being so much of a gentleman that I think he's blowing it you know and I'm like how come you can't see how come you can't tell that she she's that ready. she yeah, yeah. I mean yeah, it's, it's getting to the point where she think like he, he's unattractive to her yes it's just that he respects her so much and I think that was what was coming up in episode 12 and the next episode is um I Remember the epi- the experts interviewing with Will, and um, it said that Will is not having sex with Jasmine. So, you know, I, I, it does eventually, I, you know, I did take a sneak peek, but it does eventually become an issue that he's not, he's not giving her any affection. And I don't believe that he is not attracted to her. I just believe that, you know, he's being a gentleman. I've... I've, I've I really think that he's like taking this so seriously and not wanting to mess up so bad that he actually is messing up. And um, another thing I wanted to point out with this couple is how they were at dinner and they were having this conversation about, um, you know, some some serious things about bills and things like that. Um, and Jasmine had brought up the fact that, yeah, she said 70, 30. So you pay all the bills and all that, and I just stay home. Right. Right, 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 right. So, y'all comment below. Let me know what y'all think about that 30, 70 situation that Jasmine was talking about. But my whole opinion is I feel like, you know, society has changed. It's 2019, and ladies is out here working their butts off and doing the same thing that men is doing out here nowadays, you know. And we both, my husband and I, bring the bacon home. So I don't see why it can't be the same way with Will and Jasmine. Like, 
it just it doesn't make it doesn't make sense for her to all of a sudden go all old fashioned all of a sudden. It's a big one. <laughs> but yeah. So I I don't know why I think I think this is all act. I think she's trying. Will she's trying to see what she can get out of him? She's like you know you know can I get away with you know being this housewife and oh. Will busting his butt for me. <laughs> can I get away with this? Is he so attracted to me that I can get away with, um, you know, doing absolutely nothing? Water. Yeah, that's what I think. But you listen, listen. You know, we got uh, six weeks in this. They got they signed a contract. So you know, when you love somebody and you really want to make it work, you know, you gonna make some changes. And I see a lot of changes happening. As we do every season with couples, I see a lot of changes happening with these people. The next couple, yeah, that was, that was the whole relationship was around changes. Oh, then this here's your favorite oh, couple. Keith, oh, yeah, Keith, uh, Keith and Christine. Yeah. Oh, man, he was a whole kid. Yeah. <laughs> he was a whole man child in, in the episode. <laughs> I, I was like, whoa, man, I'm like, you really take care of this. Right, right. I was like, wow, bro. I was like, he had a name, so. Right. So we was watching the episode like, was a couple nights ago, and, you know, I'm laughing because my husband the whole time is saying that he's a whole kid. Yeah. So I was like, what? What? He's a kid. So the he more... Take care of that, the more I watched it, the more I started to see what he was talking about, and I was like, mm. He really turned around, though. I think, like, her and the producer or the doctor or something. Talk to him, and next thing I know, he's coming out of the dive, and I said, like, what? Right, right. I'm like, yo, he really, uh, but you know what? I think that girls like them type of guys, you know what I'm saying? Like, hmm. he was the most goofiest out of everybody, you know? Hmm. And it was just like, you know, she was like, I guess that was like easy for her to, to mold or something like that. And hmm. like, that's kind of what I've seen. Next thing I know, do had a dive and everything, uh, you know? So, well... Here's my opinion on it. He was like 2016 with his mom, his grandma and stuff. And I'm like, wow. Yes. Did you guys see? And I hope you guys watched this episode. But, you know, if you didn't, go back after this and watch this episode. But, yeah, he was living with his whole grandma. Oh, wow. And he took his new wife to his grandma's house and showed her his messy bedroom. His room looked like a teenager's room. You know, his wife was standing in the middle of the bedroom, like, looking at the clothes piled up in the closet and looking at the clothes piled up on the bed. And she was, like, just, like... Yeah, she was disgusted. I don't know. Like, I was... Oh, you all... You live like this? You know yeah. what I mean? And she's, like, helping him straighten up and things like that. Sorry, y'all, I can't get my whole face in here. But, um... Yeah. And, that, and that's when I was, like, starting to see what he was talking about when he was saying, like, he's a whole kid, yeah. you know? And I was like, oh, um... Oh, you see that golf part? Yeah. They're playing golf, like, all the other dudes out there, chill, laid back, you know, getting a grown man on. This dude doing spins and everything. He right, tried, right, right. He tried to hit the ball and the, the pole and flew up in the air. Right. So, you guys, it's an episode where um, all the guys get together... Well, it's a part of the, the same episode, but all the guys get together like they did last season where they gave the guys a chance to get together and talk about their marriage. And then the women also get together and talk about their marriage. And he was at the golf course with um, Luke and... I'm, I'm learning these, these names. Luke and AJ and Will. And they were all playing golf. And he was out there. Yeah, he's out there acting goofy. You know, he's doing 360 swinging the, the golf club. And I think at one point he actually let the golf club club fly and, and fly off. And they just, all of the guys are just looking at him and just laughing it off like, man. That's right, yeah, I don't want to say Luke too. Yeah, yeah. So I was like, oh my God, what the heck is he doing? Like, he's out there really. Yo, and they like 30. Like, that's the crazy part. They like 30 years old and they're yes. like 30, 39. Yes. I mean, I can understand you not ever playing golf before or really not knowing how the game is played. But to be out there just acting, just immature and acting like a kid, like, that to me was a turn off. That to me was like, like, is he taking this seriously or is he just out here just trying to vacation, you know? 
vacation. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Trying to get the vacation because, you know, you do have those scam people on here because we, had, you know, married at first sight. Yeah, there wasn't a lot of survivors. So it's like, you know, was these people really in it to get married or, you know, or was they in it for a vacation or whatever? But yeah, that situation was so crazy. Like, she was in his room, in his messy room, you know, and um, I believe it was uh, one part, I think they were at dinner or something, and they were actually sitting down talking about bills and, and, and future plans, just like uh, Jasmine and Will was, and um, I think she discovered that he was not working. He was at, he was a student, and she was like, well, I think she was like, well, I can do the cooking. Oh, she ended up doing everything, the cooking, the going to work, the everything. I was like, man, he really, yeah. he really didn't take care of him. Really. Yes, yes, yes. Right. And then she's like, well, I can hold it down for a little bit, you know. Oh, okay. And she was oh. being really, uh, what's it called, when you kind of give in. She was kind of pretty much giving in. She wasn't really uh, putting her foot down. A lot or something like that. Yeah. Overcompromising, maybe. Yeah, I think that she um, wasn't letting, um, what's the guy's name? Chris, not Christian. What's, what's her husband? Uh, she, I think she was really letting him know that she wasn't really expressing that she was upset about him not working. So. But doesn't that mean that she's like. Pretty much right for him, right? Like she, you know, I'm yeah, saying, right, yeah. Baby, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead. You know, yeah. I understand the situation right now, and so that might just might work, you know, in the long run. Well, that's a good thing. Sorry. It's a good thing that she is saying, "Hey, look, I'm gonna hold it down and, until she, you finish school." You, get up a you know, bit. yeah. Don't worry about that. You don't know how to cook. I'll do the cooking. You Whoa. know, so. That's a sign that she really likes him, and and he, and he really likes her. But you know, actually, I don't, I don't really see how you can see that he likes her because he's just kind of sitting back and getting oh, yeah. treated. But I, I don't know. Oh, the part when he.